Hi guys, it's Ben here with some instant reaction and player ratings as Liverpool have just beaten Hoffenheim 2-1 in the first leg of our Champions League playoff. I should be coming here more bouncing, more jubilant after that win. It was going really well at 2-0. We should have really made it 3. I thought it was really there for the taking. We were dominant. We didn't play too well first half. We were lucky to go in at the break with the lead. Obviously the safe penalty and scoring from a set piece. We looked pretty shaky defensively and that continued throughout the second half. But there was a phase sort of after we scored the second, even before that really, where it looked like we could have really put a hole on this and pulled away from Hoffenheim. We were much the better team in a, in a going forward sense, but defensively the issues are still there and that was proven again later on. We conceded the goal to bring it back to 2-1. Trent Alexander-Arnold switches off, tries looking for the offside, was never to be, and then really we should have conceded the equaliser later on. The header, the free header in the box. Why is that a thing? Why are we not marking? Properly, is it a zonal marking thing? Is it just us not performing zonal marking properly? It's a debate we've had for years under Rafa even. Is zonal marking the right thing? Well, look, there's obviously a reason managers use it. It's not a flawed system. It's not, there's no right or wrong way to defend whether that be zonal or man-to-man, -man. but when you're not going to do zonal properly, you're going to be punished, and we should have been punished tonight. We should have come out of there with a 2 all really, uh, having not put away the chances to make it 3-0. Mohamed Salah missed a couple of chances there. Firmino should have scored a tap-in for Mane when it was at 1-0, so could have been more for us, but then again, it could have been two apiece. So am I happy? I am happy. I was calling for a win. I was calling for something to cheer us up after the whole Coutinho thing and no incomings yet, but... I'm not as happy as I could be, even if we'd have won that game 2-1 in slightly different circumstances if we'd have got a late winner, but the fact they clawed it back and the fact that they really should have equalised leaves me feeling still a bit concerned about the defence. Dejan Lovren was appalling tonight, Moreno still looks a liability, I don't know why he's been retained in the side. I thought after Watford we might look to change it up defensively, but Klopp, you know, to be fair, he's stuck with the team that he thinks is the best for the job. I just think he needs to reassess, I really do. I think Dejan Lovren is a player I like, he's a player that at times last season looked good. I mean, the Merseyside derby against Lukaku, he was flawless, but then he throws in the odd performance like this, the odd mad bomb, and his head just goes. He plays with his heart rather than his head. He dives in with things, doesn't need to. Moreno the same. It's, Moreno's positioning is just ludicrous. And I don't think Matip played that well either. So, I mean, I'll go through player ratings. Mignolet saved us with the penalty. It wasn't the most difficult save of all time, but that wasn't the only save he had to make for us either. There was a couple of occasions when he had to save in point blank range to keep us ahead uh, or to keep us in the game in the first half even. So I think he deserves a 7 out of 10. Trent scores a wonderful free kick. His first goal for Liverpool. He steps up with the confidence. I was just praying that Moreno didn't take it and Trent stepped up and scored with a plum. Uh, but he is to blame uh, for the goal that brought them back into it. I don't want to be too harsh on him because he also had that great run in the second half that he should have got a free kick for. He was just so positive and confident throughout. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 as well. Um, Matip. I'm still not convinced. I'm really not. I like him. He is obviously going to be a starter for us this season, even if we do sign Van Dijk. Um, he just seems a bit... His positioning isn't quite there. There was that time in the first half when Lovren dived in. We'll get onto Lovren. But uh, he was there to sweep up when the cross came in. He had to get a leg up there and uh, clear the danger. But I'm just not convinced. I don't think his positioning was right. I don't think... He's necessarily good enough to be Liverpool's best centre-back. I know a lot of you are still going to be calling for Sacco. Is Matip that much better than Sacco? Look, he is a bit better, of course. He's slightly more reliable. He's not going to give the ball away as much, but he gets a 5 out of 10 tonight. And Lovren was even worse. It's a 4 out of 10 for him. I thought it was dreadful. He gives away the penalty stupidly. And from then on, he just trying to make up for that from then on in, really. Trying to do too much. Uh, had a couple of good chances to score, uh, some good, decent attempts in an attacking sense, but defensively I just can't trust him. I can't trust him to be in a side that needs to be challenging for a league title. He should not be in the first 11. I, my stance often changes on him af after sort of games. I'm very fickle in that sense when it comes to Lovren because he does have unreal games where he looks unplayable. When he goes through runs of form, he'll have six or seven games back to back when he just looks fine, and then he'll have that one mad game when everyone is reminded of why he's, why he's just not quite frankly good enough to, to start for us. Same can be said for Moreno. Don't want to spend too much time on him. He's just a fucking maniac, isn't he? He, he's, he belongs nowhere near our first team. Um, he can have a 5 out of 10 for tonight. He did okay going forward at times. Onto the midfield. A bit like Saturday, really. Um, first half, they couldn't get into it. Henderson in particular struggled. I think he's probably a 5 out of 10 performance tonight. Couldn't really set the tempo or spray his passes out as well as we know he can. Uh, kind of got outran a bit at times. 
so not a vintage performance. I know he's not quite fully fit yet, but haven't been as encouraged as I was in pre-season with him. Maybe I was looking too much into pre-season, but I was pretty pleased with how he was performing, but he seems to have dropped a bit in the last two games, which is a concern. I'm not sure how that can be rectified. Obviously, time time will tell and fitness will, will come with this. Um, Emery Chan, I thought, played pretty well second half, just as he did on Saturday. Not a spectacular performance. Um, he was there, he was neat and tidy, uh, he got his body in the way a few times when he had to. I think he's probably pretty much a 6 out of 10. If I now had another quiet game, I think he's probably a 5 out of 10. He started pretty quietly, he went missing in the first half, he really did. you couldn't even really tell he was playing. Second half he got into it a bit more when some more space opened up for him. But still this midfield trio hasn't particularly impressed, there was still that big gap between the midfield and the strikers which we don't want to see, especially when the strikers are so lethal and quick and they can punish anyone so we need to try and get the midfield a bit closer to them. As for the strikers, uh, or the forwards, Salah um, missed a couple of chances again, still quite wasteful, really looks really quite bad on his right foot, I mean that chance in the first half when he was literally clean through, had the whole goal at his mercy, he couldn't get the ball under control, he was moving to the right, he couldn't get it on his favourite left foot. I was really disappointed with that because I think if that was Mane in that position, there'd only be one outcome, he'd score, but Salah really messed that one up and then there was a chance in the second half when he tried to find the near post to no avail, but he is always a threat and his pace is obviously an outlet all, all the time and he does use his body well to uh, trick the defender, to, to work the space, to, to make the acceleration, to make the run. Uh, I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Mane was... Was he our best player? I think Firmino and Mane were probably our two of our best players. Um, neither was. I, I'm going to give Mane man of the match. I think he was probably an eight out of ten. I think he was just a constant threat. Uh, that chance he put on a plate for Firmino in the first, in the start of the second half was just brilliant, brilliant pace. The defenders hated him with him. There was a couple of defenders that got booked for tackles on him. He drew so many fouls throughout the game. He's been our best player over the last two games, and with Coutinho being absent, he's the one that's really grabbing it by the scruff of the neck, showing some force creatively. Pure pace, pure power, pure determination. Uh, I'm very pleased with how he started the campaign. 8 out of 10 for him. And Firmino, with there being such a gap between the defence and him, and with Coutinho not, sorry, the midfield and him, and with Coutinho not being there, you would not be surprised if he went missing, but he dropped deep really well and linked up really well with the guys to either side of him. Uh, his touch was great. Such a clever player. A really clever display from him. Not a, a vintage Firmino display, and he should have scored. He should have scored that tap in, but... I just really enjoyed his performance tonight. I thought it worked really hard for the team. Uh, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. As for the subs, Grujic comes on. Uh, Milner, of course, comes on and gets, gets the uh, well the goal or the assist. I'm not sure if it's going to get credit to, but his, his presence wasn't needed in midfield. And, you know, to be fair, scores the goal and really settles things down until the last sort of 5-10 minutes when we lost our heads. But Milner gets a 7. Grujic, 5. Uh, and Solanke, 5. Didn't, didn't really get, get a chance. But... Uh, how to feel really? It's um, it's a win. It's it's a, it's not tie over. I think a two 0 is probably tie over, and I think we should have gone to make a three 0 in that sort of ten minutes following our second goal, and then it would have been tie over completely. Uh, but two one is not a lead which I'm particularly comfortable with, and you know we you know we're going to concede at Anfield. You know we're going to concede goals at the moment unless we can bring someone in in the meantime. But is that really likely? Uh, the signings we're just not getting any news. Um, but look, I mean. I don't want to come across too downbeat. We've won a game in Hoffenheim. We've won our first Champions League game under Jurgen Klopp. We should be pleased with that. We scored two goals away in Europe. A tough place to go uh, against set piece specialists. We've come out of there and survived with a win. You know, we are the huge favourites, obviously, going into the second leg. It's just a bit frustrating that we could only uh, take a one goal margin back to Anfield rather than a two, at least, that it looked like it was going to be. But. Let me know how you feel. I mean, I'm kind of bittersweet. I mean, I think when I wake up tomorrow, I'll be pretty pleased with how it's gone. But let me know what you feel about how the performance was tonight. Do you think 2-1 flat as us, flat as them? Do you think we were lucky to not come out with a draw? Or should we have gone on one with more goals? Who was your man of the match? Let me know who you thought played well and who wasn't so good. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me. We go to Palace at the weekend. See you next time.